Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Thank you for joining me. We're here for another podcast. This one is going to be a generalized love of Godzilla. So my love for this character, creature, goes back to my childhood. I absolutely love Godzilla, although there are things I could really do without, particularly the new fucking anime. I had watched uh, the last one recently, and I was on Twitter, and on my feed, there was a bunch of Godzilla stuff, and it got me really interested. I think it was um, Ansgar Odinson, so shout out to him. There was a big thread going on, a couple of, I think, even battles, like who would win type thing. I started watching him again, and... Man, I get so much joy out of him. I own, well, let's say up to 2012-ish, I had owned every Godzilla movie on DVD. One maybe on Blu-ray. I'm not sure about that one. And I've watched everything associated with Godzilla. I've even searched things out, little things here and there. I just get so much entertainment from this insane creation. Going back to my early childhood, I think King Kong and Godzilla both captured a part of my childhood at the right time. And looking back, I love big ape gorilla King Kong. And some of those movies are really in depth and have a deeper meaning. Well, not actually not meaning, but a deeper feel. However, Godzilla rules. If you want to compare the best of each movie, fine. But on a consistent basis, Godzilla has entertained me. I don't know what the tally is. I just got excited watching a Godzilla movie, seeing the thread, and I just turned on my mic. So I don't have like a Wikipedia open or anything. That's what I do. Sometimes I just get excited to do these. And I was thinking of how much I love King Kong. And by the way, I love King Kong vs. Godzilla. I don't care about you know who wins or anything. I just want to see it happen. Thinking about my love for the characters and creatures and creations, I was just amazed at the body of work and how many Godzilla movies there are. Cartoons. Everything. It's just... So much out there. Now, you could say that there's an overwhelming quantity, but not a a lot of it is good. I would argue that for me, they're they're entertaining. Yes, I know the sillier ones. I know the real origin, deep concept one, or even the remakes. I even know some of the plot lines of how movies line up. I mean, I'm sure I'm not the biggest Godzilla nerd out there. But it's so connected. It's so broad that even the best King Kong movies, to me, don't compare. Now, I do have a love of Gamera, and there is a fondness for, you know, all the monsters in general, whether it be Rodan, Mothra. So I'm a big fan of that. But Godzilla just never stops entertaining me. I even watched one. Came out, I think, right after the 2011 one or the or the newer ones. The one where the fucking kids going around and everything's happening around them and there wasn't enough Godzilla in it. Not the newest one, which was King of the Monsters. Or something. It was really good. I loved it. Um, and it was made by, I think, uh, the original company. I didn't, it was boring to me. It was not really thrilling. But when I look back, Jet Jaguar, all the creatures, uh, King Gehidoro, it just fascinated me. It didn't matter if they were in suits and flying by wires. As I grew up, I came to love that part of it. Um, sometimes he would do silly things like, uh, 
gestures with his arms and like human like things. He flew once, okay? I think he jumped up, tucked his tail in, and breathed and flew. So, yes, it could be uh, more silly aspects to them because there's so many. And on the other spectrum, there's not enough Gamera movies and or even King Kong movies. And Although I think some of the Mighty Joe Youngs and the takes on King Kong were really amazing. But I don't think you can beat King uh, Godzilla. I just want to want to be fair and open-minded and neutral. There's just really not a real big comparison now. I did love Kong Island or the newest one. I thought it was really fun. The one before that was okay. It was a little long. And I like the idea of bringing this movie monster universe together. I think they'll go with a King Kong vs. Godzilla that kind of goes where they have to team up eventually, but you're going to see some sort of fight. I'm okay with that. I don't care who wins or... I mean, it might be fun to debate, uh, you know, versus battle type thing. They've killed Godzilla. He's had sons, uh, Godzuki, the cartoon, uh, lunch boxes, uh, everything you can imagine. It's just become such a big part of culture, the music... There's songs about him. You just can't get enough of Godzilla. I look to comic books and video games, everything I can. It uh, overshadows most of the other things. Like if I get into moods like Bigfoot and I want to watch documentaries, things like that, or even King Kong and Gug Gamera. Godzilla. Dozens of movies, and some of them are just amazing. Some are silly and goofy. Some are downright serious and foreboding and dark. Yes, yeah, some most of the time it's a guy in a suit, and multiple people are in suits, and the fighting could be wonky and crazy. But I think it was ballsy. I think it was a perfect storm of that kaiju, whatever you want to call them. Now, I'm not even that big of a fan of like. Pacific Rim and some of the B ripoffs. Uh, I think I liked the aspect of some of the Hellboys, but they had the big fucking creatures. But give me Godzilla, give me more. I can't, I'm totally excited for whatever they bring me next, even if it's a fucking kick ass actor kid who just seems to pop up everywhere and shit seems to happen around them. And just don't start a fight and close doors on me. And make me miss things. Have it so dark and clunky fucking editing. Where you don't know what's going on. Oh, he was buried in rubble. He's up. He's back in rubble. He's, you know, you're spending millions and millions of dollars on this. However, the last one was great. I really liked it. So I'm excited to see where they go. I think in the scheme of things, it might be King Kong vs. Godzilla next. But like I said, I didn't open up Wikipedia. Nothing. Just with cooking and... I had gotten into a real marathon. I had hurt my hand. It's getting better now. Much better now. And I just watched a ton of them. Can't get enough. And when my internet goes out and things happen, I have all the DVDs. I just have a ball. Godzilla. King of the Monsters. In my opinion, if you had to go neutral, open-minded, be critical. He... Beats Godzilla, beats King Kong in that aspect also. It's almost like I would judge band, you know. Band that had two, four albums, some great songs, and you have the Rolling Stones. I mean, yeah, you could say you like these better and it's subjective, but as a whole, Godzilla, in my opinion, the king, undisputed. Stay healthy, everybody. Take care. Wish everybody the best.